Welcome back to the SA Sports Show and here I am at the North LA Golf Course with Specialist Golf SA Golf Coach Sarah Douglas Norris. Hi Howdy. Michelle, how are you? Good to see you. Oh, good to see you too, out in the golf course. We are, and we're here to shed some light on some tips. So I'm, I'm going to hand over to you, Sarah, because I okay. know nothing about golf. Oh, so. I'm sure. I'm sure you know a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyhow, Michelle, today I'm going to talk you through, because I know you like your sport, we're going to talk you through the Swing Fit program, mm -hmm. which is a great program aimed at kind of our age, 18 to 40. Perfect. Um, yeah. And uh, just gives you a bit of yoga, a bit of fitness, a bit of fun. Mm -hmm. Always finishes in a coffee. Oh, that's yeah, exactly so that's what great. I need. And a little bit of golf, of course. <laughs> All right, let me show you some warm-ups. Fantastic. Just to get you going. All right. So the first warm-up we do is a bit of stretching, actually. So back to back. If it's got a ball, I should be right. Yeah, you'll be right. a height difference Don't here, drop it. No. Right. <laughs> Don't drop Don't it. Don't drop it. <laughs> okay, we're going over. Side, yeah, side. you can do side, 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 other side. And I'm going under. <laughs> okay, to the side. Other side, yep. Yeah. So other side. side. Yeah, you got you got to call. Yeah, Tell I'm, me where oh, you're sorry, going. I have to call. Okay. <laughs> over. Under. Ooh, under. Okay, excellent. You get the idea of that? I've got it. Okay. It wasn't a bit slow. <laughs> With a ball. Slow. I was a bit slow getting that right. All right, let me see if you can do this one. All right, okay. these ones are high kicks to get your oh, brain going. I'll be fine with this one. Opposite hand to opposite arm, okay? okay. Go. That's it. Opposite leg, I should have said. <laughs> That's I've it. Got Good. This one. This one's yeah, you got this one. One of the old netball ones that oh, I'm yep. pretty right, accustomed spin to. Spin around. Yep. yep, back over this way. Beautiful. Okay, so all of this gets you ready to hit a golf ball, believe it or not. Yeah, no, that's excellent. Because <laughs> you need to warm up your hammies, I suppose. That's yeah, a big part exactly. of it is getting your hammies and your, yep. your core, core stability. Yep. Yep. Well, let's do a core one now, Absolutely. shall we? Absolutely. So this is the superwoman. Yep. <laughs> okay. We do our superwoman standing up, so I want to oh, see dear. how you okay, do it in golf. Right. So, yeah, tuck your core in. Yep. yep. Um, bottom out. Yep. And then you're actually reaching opposite arm to opposite leg and trying to stay really still through your core. Now, I'm I have sure not can done do this for one. a long time, but I will. I'm sure you can opposite do this Opposite arm. One. Yeah, that's it. See, I'm not very stable at this anymore. See, I'm older than you, so I've got to... <laughs> Excellent. That's perfect. So we do lots of these kind of stretches and exercises. It's lots of fun. Yeah, beautiful. That's good. You're good. It's actually really good because I think core is one of the big yeah, things no, it is. I find is making sure we're always activating our core. Activating so the we're core. Ready to go. Exactly. Right, let's go and grab the golf club now. Here yep. you go. You can have a seven iron. Beautiful. So in the program, the Swing Fit program, we teach the ladies. Yes. Um, it's, it's mainly focused at ladies, this yes. program. Um, but the men, I'm sure, they would love to do it with us. Yeah. So we, we focus on actually trying to hit down so that the ball will go up in the air. Because mm. you see lo lots of people top the ball along yes. the ground. That's because they're missing hitting the ground as they're swinging through. I do so, have to say I had a bit of a practice before Sarah's <laughs> going to show you how good. And I did have to be very careful because we're on this beautiful pristine golf exactly. course. Exactly. Didn't want to take any little holes Any out divots. Of it. No, that's right. So, so you just get in your golf position like I've um, shown you, with your feet apart, yep. relaxed um, knees, and then you're just going to swing back and through, 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock. And I'm going to show you with the powder. Mm. And if you can hit the powder, whoo, there you go. That means my ball will go up in the air. Beautiful. Do you want to have a try? I, I will. Come I don't then. know if I'm going to get as close as Come you, but then. definitely Let's are. Have a look. Now I'm going to get, make sure I've got everything right yep, before so let I get me check started. for you. So got hands together knees. on the grip. Yep, and left yep. hand at the top, right hand, yeah, beautiful. Your arms are just relaxed, your bottom's yep. out. Yep, beautiful. that's the one thing, I've got to get that right. Yep. yep, that's good. Okay, now your arms are maybe a little bit closer to the ball, just so you're in touch with your body. Yeah, that's it. So oh yeah, because I'm quite back. Reached, Yeah, yep. you're a bit too far away. Halfway no laughing, back. it's not funny if I don't hear it. Oh, try again. Okay. Now that would have gone quite low, that shot, so keep it slow. Yeah. It's nice okay. and rhythmic, okay, nice and smooth. Yeah, that's better. Can you give me a really good one though? Really hit down on the way through. Oh, one more, one more, Ooh. one more. You can do it slowly, just slowly. Yeah, that's it, good. Excellent, well done, Michelle. That's actually really good having the yeah. powder there because when I do play, and I don't play a lot, but yeah. would like to be encouraged to play more, that's one thing I do. I do tip high on oh, the ball. Oh, do you? And the ball so, goes low. Yeah, so yep. that's really good practice to be able to have a program where yeah. we can come along and just correct, correct what yourself. You, need. you can see it exactly. Yeah, so it's really good to yeah. be able to have you on the show. Oh, thank you. I, look, this is. I'm going to go and play golf this afternoon and know that I can actually do really when, well. If you want this. to sign up for the Swing Fit program, yeah. you can go anywhere in your area. Go to swingfit.com.au. I do them at Grange and at Flagstaff Hill. Um, you can come and join a swing fit class. Thank you, I'd love to. Good. Thanks, Excellent. Sarah. Okay, no Thank worries. Thank you very much. Thanks Hope a lot. you enjoyed the tips today.
Yes, thanks for staying with us on the Sports Show. We're going to have a look at golf now. Been very fortunate. Two special guests in the studio, Poppy. Darren, of course, just recently back in South Australia, the PGA golf representative. And, of course, Christian's been in a couple of times before communications. Can't and get him out. Off Can't the... get him out now. I mean, wow. There's a chance he'll take over the show. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, fellas. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thank you. Darren, let's start with you, mate. Uh, PGA officer. What's, what's the role of the PGA officer? Yeah, Phil, it encompasses a few different avenues. Uh, a big part now is servicing the membership we have in South Australia, which is about 100 PJ members um, and a lot of tournament golf obviously we're trying to reinvigorate the tournament space in SA and hopefully bring a, a big men's event uh, to Adelaide as we saw the women's event uh, was a huge success um, we've also got an education branch with trainees so uh, there's a variety of different avenues but a big part of it now obviously is uh, a collaborative approach with with Christian and the team at Golf SA so really trying to put golf back on the map and utilizing the great members we have here in Adelaide to um, showcase that you're a scratch golfer yourself, so obviously you've got empathy for, uh, or you were, or you still are? Uh, look, I'm just getting back into the game now, so uh, the, the game's a bit rusty, but uh, I used to play, I grew up here. So. But, but important to have an empathy for what, you know, a, a PGA golfer or a golfer of that quality needs, number one. But I think, you know, what SA has to offer, even for sports that haven't had the opportunity before, is proof of being able to host an event. You mentioned the women's event, or you, you might mention the Tour Down Under, or you might mention the Clipsville 500. All of a sudden, you've got these events that you can showcase that, hey, listen, this state, this city can do it, given an opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. I think SA has obviously uh, prided itself on uh, putting on major events in the Women's Open, as we saw, was yeah. uh, just a wonderful mm -hmm. concept. And Golf Australia, obviously, with Golf SA, get right behind that. The PGA, it's been... Uh, 10 or so years since we've seen the likes of the Jacobs Creek Classic and the SA Open where Greg Norman and we used to have Freddie Couples and all these amazing names in town for it. So a big part of what we're trying to achieve now is to uh, bring a major event back. And we also have events like Pro-Am tournaments mm -hmm. and the, uh, the Legends Tour. So there's a few different concepts which are great opportunities for golf clubs to really showcase their facility. And um, again, it comes back to providing our PGA members with a chance to go yeah. and compete and play with amateur golfers at those golf clubs, which is a, a fantastic uh, idea. Yeah, you have to start somewhere. We've brought Darren Baines back as our first big golf name for uh, PGA. When you talk PGA, people immediately think money, big amounts of money. How many professional PGA golf players would there be in South Australia? Look, we've got uh, about 100 PGA members based in South Australia. Out of those, we've got about 70 active members. Um, oh. So that, that includes your head professionals at your golf clubs around town, teaching professionals. Yeah. Also, we have PGA members, which you might run into at your, uh, your local golf shop in town somewhere. But on top of that, obviously, the guys, when you refer to out there playing for the big bucks, we've got some fantastic young talent that have come out of Adelaide and, and regional areas of SA, the likes of Adam Bland, who's done fantastic uh, things in Japan. Uh, obviously, Max McArdle is having a great year on the China PGA Tour. And a good buddy of mine, Nick Cullen, as well, who's just uh, gone great gun since winning the Australian Masters a few years ago. He's uh, now based in America and actually playing in Kazakhstan this week, of all things, on the European <laughs> yeah. Challenge Tour. Yep. So there's a lot of SA guys that are doing wonderful things around the world. And it would be great to uh, provide an opportunity to showcase those guys here on home soil. Christian, is there, is there a flow on from that? You know, we talk about, we hear about those great players now. Is that flowing down? The line here in South Australia? It is. I mean, there's a, we've got a, a very good bunch coming through. Um, right at the moment, we've got our um, state championship, so 100 players uh, playing um, throughout the week at Tea Tree Gully and the Grange and, and then at the Vines uh, through the match play rounds. Um, so 100 elite golfers. Um, last year, a local South Australian won the event. Um, there's probably about half uh, participants are from interstate. So we're seeing the kids come through our major events and doing well. Um, and also, um, uh, in our high performance program, we've got a, quite a robust program at the moment with different tiers. Um, so the kids are coming through, they're getting a lot of exposure, playing tournaments and um, then generally the next step is through to Q School towards the end of the year um, where they have a chance to qualify for some of these Australian tours. What are the, some of the most important um, aspects of developing <coughs> golfer that can compete on the world stage? Is it getting them young? Is it the uh, those informative years coming through? Is it the competition when they get to a certain level? Is it the ability to travel? Is it all of the above? A bit of all of the above. Yeah. Yeah. I think the, the approach that Golf SA have, which is, I think, uh, setting the benchmark from anywhere in the country, and not just that, but I think what Golf Australia do with the support of the state bodies like Golf SA, 
I think we have the most advanced teaching okay. um, concepts anywhere in the world and we actually are now outsourcing our uh, PGA professional, um, I guess, module in terms of what we teach our PGA coaches because then yes. they're the ones that are essentially working with the young kids coming through that play the, the junior events and these amateur events which are on at the moment. So. Um, we also need good golf clubs and we've got that as well. So we've got the facilities, we've got great teachers, we've got really good passionate kids and we've, we're just trying to get more people out there playing the game, I think, and that's what obviously Golf SA and the PGA are trying you to do. You know what intrigues me about golf, I reckon, is that in a lot of sports, um, you can be a, a player of different height, different skills, different abilities and still fit in a team structure. Uh, with golf, is it a one-size-fits-all teaching model or is, is a player able to adapt even though he might have an unorthodox style or uh, he's not traditionally your perfect golfer? Well, from an amateur point of view, um, our uh, state champion uh, twice over the last few years has been about five foot six in height. Yeah, okay. Um, but quite strong, so you need to have that core strength. Yes. Um, but as you probably progress through the ranks, um, it, it really depends. Um, definitely the courses are longer, so you do need a lot of length in your, in your driving and your game. Um, but it's also a sport where um, having great touch um, is so important around the okay, green yeah. and your short game. Yeah, it's a sport that, you know, Phil, you could go out there this afternoon, obviously a bit better weather would be nice, <laughs> but, you know, it's a game where you hit that one good shot and it, it does tend to hook you and you always want to go back for yeah. more and what the young boys and girls in Adelaide hopefully are, are seeing is some consistent golf being played at the moment and um, it's certainly... Uh, Left-handed, right-handed, tall, short, you know, whatever your, your body frame is, um, you know, if you work hard enough, I think, with good yeah, people okay. around you, you can make it happen, just like any sport, really, I okay. think. You talk about consistency. Michael Smith was in here a couple of weeks ago. He's going to try and play, was it five rounds in five days? Five yeah. rounds, rounds a day. Five rounds a day, yeah, sorry, yeah. for five days. How did he finish up? He managed to get there, yeah. He completed oh. the 450 holes. Really? Wow. Um, so he's kind of national news in the golf circles. Yeah. Um, so he went hard early and, it, and he basically played 99 holes day one um, out at Bar uh, Renmark and yes. 99 holes at Berry the following day and then 90 Barmera, five rounds out at uh, Berry, uh, Loxton, sorry, and then finished at Barmer again. Only needed four rounds in the final day, oh, wow. but oh, completed only the four, only four <laughs> rounds. Um, wow, com completed the, the yeah. 450 at about 5.30 at night as it was just getting dark. And, and Wayne Wiedemann uh, and Shane Hobby from Drum and Golf joined yeah. him for the final round, but he, he made it. And in doing so, raised over $11,000 for Kickstart wow. for Kids. So, Good on um, Another way to showcase how golf and, I guess, leading a healthy, active lifestyle as well can really go hand in hand. And that's one well, thing. Well, it's that a perfect example because he was a bloke that was doing it to lose weight initially and then yeah. just wanted to have a goal at the end of it and yeah. all of a sudden he's, he's that's right. done it for yeah. a good cause. Well, Michael's a 14 handicapper and yeah. remarkably he averaged basically his handicap every round um, wow. over those 25 rounds he played. So I think he shot about 87 on average. Mm. So um, it's a huge effort. We can't quite believe that someone's done that and um, hopefully he's looking through the process of getting it it'd recognised. Be see, it'd be great to see if Darren Baines could do 451. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to get on well, the treadmill. Well, yeah. That's it. Yeah, I'll try and keep right away from that too. Darren, Christian, thanks for well, coming in, guys. Always a pleasure to talk golf with you guys. We need to get to a break. Stay with us. Still lots to come.